this is it. The final day at vet school for my junior vets. Which means it's their final chance to impress. As the junior vets carry out final checkups on their favourite patients. And tensions rise as one of this lot is crowned head vet. I'm Alex Riley, and for the final time, just in case you didn't get that, it's junior vets. Pets, wildlife, farm animals, all in need of expert help. Only a few weeks ago at Edinburgh's amazing vet school, six raw recruits arrived to work alongside the school's top-notch vets. <gasps> As if I just did that. They've been pushed to their very limits. <laughs> helping to save the lives of sick and injured animals. Six junior vets. And now I'm about to choose one winner. This year's head vet is... This is it, Judgment Day at Vet School. Hey, can you believe it? Your time here at Vet School is almost at an end. Mm -hmm. Not long now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you starting to see yourself as possibly being vets of the future? Yeah. yeah, definitely. I'm really, really proud of what you've achieved here. You've shown a fantastic appetite for vet work. You've shown flashes of individual brilliance. And when you've needed to, you've all come together and worked as a team. And every step of the way, you've always put the needs of the animals first. So very well done. Now, the next time we get together here, it's going to be your graduation ceremony. Your final day here at vet school. And I'll see you all later. Off you go. Yep, one of them will be named head vet by me later. But before I make my final decision, they've all got one last mission to complete. They need to check on the progress of poorly patients who they've helped at vet school. Hello, Gina. Hello. Uh, we're ready for you now, so if you'd like to come through to the um, consulting room. At the Small Animal Hospital, junior vet Jamie is facing his last ever vet school mission. Been eating and drinking, OK? Uh, yes, yeah. Guinness and his owner Alistair have been called back to vet school for test results that could change their lives forever. Just have a check of his yeah. heart. It's quite fast at the moment, but I think that might be because he's nervous. Guinness was really special to me because he, it, it was my first time in the theatre and um, he was definitely my favourite. When Jamie last worked with the poorly pooch, he was part of the surgery team that had to remove a huge lump and his spleen. It's all right, really. I thought I would be sick, but I'm not. It was a massive job, and I was worried Jamie wouldn't cope with the gory surgery. But he was an absolute natural. It is quite heavy. And stayed focused throughout. Before I came to Vesco, I didn't believe that I could handle, like, masses of blood, but I surprised myself on the operation. <laughs> There's a dog we know and love. The surgery seemed to be successful, but the lump had to be sent off to the lab for tests. When we left, me and Vonty didn't know whether he was going to be OK or not or whether he had cancer. Now the results are back, and it's Jamie's job to deliver the news to nervous owner Alistair. Um, we've got the results back. This really good news, it was a benign tumour, which means it's, it won't spread or anything, and he's going to be fine. Oh, that's really good news, thank you. So hopefully he doesn't need any more operations or anything. <laughs> no. I was quite nervous about giving the results of the test, but I was also excited, because like, it was really good news, and that's obviously what Alistair wanted to hear. It's amazing because it sort of feels like I've like rescued a dog's life. I always knew I had like a gut feeling that he would be fine because um, he's a fighter. Good boy. <laughs> Natape is at the large animal hospital to make a final check on his old mate Jack. 
Oh, it's so nice seeing him. And I'm, and I'm quite happy that he remembered me. I made a real connection with Jack, and he's like by far my favorite animal that I've had to um, treat. When Natape first worked with Jack, he had to help put a camera up his nose and into his tummy to check for stomach ulcers. <laughs> Natape's gentle touch really helped settle Jittery Jack. It's okay, good boy. Today, Natape needs to give Jack medication that will hopefully help get rid of his stomach ulcers for good. When you look in his face, you can kind of tell that he has quite a soft character. He just seems to be really happy around Natape, which I think is... Just lovely. It's been really nice coming back to see Jack. He's got a lot better. When I help him, it makes me feel like, like I'm, I'm giving him a, giving him more life. Adona Caroline has some top news for Natape. Jack is feeling so much better that he's now back competing at horse trials. I've been riding him a bit, so I've been building up, working towards our next event. So this is really great news that he's going to Venton, and wish you good luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I feel one. Get you one hand. <laughs> that is so funny. It hasn't all been work, work, work here at vet school. Oh, no. My junior vets have also had to complete an intensive training course. A course that was cunningly designed to help them develop skills all top vets need to succeed. And they passed every test in style. Mostly. So stand by for some exclusive, up until now, unseen footage of my junior vets in training. Start to incision. Grab the other end. If the dog goes the same colour as the bandage, you know that it's on too tight. <laughs> Every vet has to learn how to handle all kinds of weird creatures. So my junior vets had to complete a crash course in critters with vet school's Kevin. Now these training sessions help decide who deserves to be named head vet. So I was there to keep a beady eye on them all from a safe distance. First a tree frog. These might try and run away. <gasps> yep, you're right, it's off. No, I can't do it <laughs> It keeps getting out. Ooh. So cute. No problems with the frog. But how does a royal python grab you? Oh, I see. I like that. He is really beautiful. Vets need to have a confident, firm grip when handling any animal. Uh, I've done it. You OK? You OK? You sure? He thinks you're a branch, so he just wants to go up your arm like I'm a branch. I'm not a branch! I'm a human! Be brave, Josh. Well done. Well done, you too. That's fantastic. Now, the really creepy one. The Chilean rose tarantula isn't deadly, but you won't see me go anywhere near it. Yes! It's a spider! <laughs> Wait, they can't bite. They can't, like, poison us or anything, can they? No, Robin. But if they feel threatened, these tarantulas can fire hairs at you that are itchy and painful. So don't scare it. I can't believe I'm holding the spider. Yeah. Oh, Natty, how can you do that? Jamie's not so sure. Neither am I. I really don't want to do that. What is it like? Yeah, it's quite light. It's not that ticklish. That was a useful training zone session that will definitely help me make a final decision on who is named head vet. And that decision is coming up very soon after my junior vets make their vet school promise. I do solemnly swear to protect wild animals and pets. My junior vets are paying a final visit to their favourite patients. Robin's returned to Gorgie City Farm to check on Poppy the goat and her two kids, Billy Bob and Alexis, with farm vet Andy. If we can just walk up and round her, Robin. Okay. 
Maybe she'll come to you. Come on, guys. Out of all the animals I work with, I'd make like the biggest bonds with them. And then I just, they were too cute. Last time, Robin was taught how to trim and treat goat hooves. Well, we have got a bit of work to do here, haven't we? She showed she was eager to learn and proved what a fantastic team player she is. Are you okay? Yeah. Today, Robin needs to examine Poppy's hooves to make sure the treatment worked and there's no sign of infection. She really has her hands full today because Andy is handing over full vet responsibilities. That one's grown quite a lot. Oh, it has, hasn't it? This time when I went back, I felt more confident and Andy sort of let me get more hands-on with it myself. I trust you, Robin. Robin's in complete control now, impressing Andy and trimming hooves like a pro. Andy, I think we should spray this one. Go for it, Robin. <laughs> made me feel like I've done really well as a junior vet, that the, prop, the actual vets are trusting me to do jobs on my own. It really makes me feel like I can, I can do it and I can get there and stuff. She's all right to go now. Okay. Hey, thank you, Robin. I'll let him go. I feel so privileged that I've been given a chance to do all this. Can I have the bucket, please? <laughs> Definitely want to be a vet now. <laughs> thinking that I'm going to be able to be helping them every day and getting to come and see different animals all the time. It's going to be quite special. <laughs> have you ever worked with a lion? No, I haven't, Robin. Oh, I have. Oh, you went ahead of me, then. <laughs> Bonte's on an all-important house call to a very special vet school patient. I think she's out here. There she, she is. Hi, Marley. She's come to check how little Marley and owner Hannah are coping after receiving difficult news about the puppy's health. Is it OK to get her out? Of course, yeah. Uh, hello. I was quite nervous going back to see Marley because she was quite poorly at the end of, at the, end of the time we last saw her and I didn't know what the medication was going to do. Nervy Marley had come to vet school with a very poorly liver. Marley was quite scared when we were treating her. She was really scared of the needles. <laughs> Good girl. I tried my best to make her feel like at home and like comfortable. It's okay. Yes. A scan showed surgery wouldn't be able to help poor Marley. Unfortunately for, for Marley, she is going to need to have medication throughout her life. Working with Marley kind of showed me that being a vet would be quite tough with the sad cases and that not all of them would end with a happy result. Marley's home now and doing well on her medicine. So she's been taking all her meds, OK? Yeah. What we do is we mix it in with her food and she's wolfing that down. She loves it. Oh, that's good. Because she was quite tired and stuff before, yeah. wasn't she? She's like a wee puppy again. Yeah. I'm really proud. I feel like we've played quite a big part in it. I've learned so much and um, it's definitely inspired me to want to be a vet and I'm going to try um, to be one and even if I don't, I'll have this amazing experience. Training at vet school wasn't just about hands-on care and surgery. Oh, no. My junior vets also had to learn how to get inside the minds of their patients and their owners. Here's another behind-the-scenes exclusive, when vet Adam from Ingalls Vets helps train them to be vet detectives. The best part is to start at the head end. Then it was over to them. Three separate sessions, two junior vets per team. Come on, we can do it. A room rigged with cameras and one giddy patient to examine. Come on, Jimmy. It's a bit of a live wire, this dog, isn't it? So then, who's this? This is Jill. Oh, oh. First introductions. I'm Josh. I'm Molly. And I'm Josh. Hello. Not a good start, Molly. We're looking for confident communication, good handling skills, and a keen eye to spot any illnesses or injuries. He's very good at picking animals up. He's straight in there, he very good in, in his there. hands. Is she eating and drinking normally? Yes, she is. 
She is quite skinny. Has she always been quite skinny or is that? Yes, yeah, she has always been skinny. Yeah. It should be fine, but if she stops eating or drinking, then she'll probably need to be checked out. Brilliant. Top marks for Robin for asking all the right questions. And every time he does something, he reassures her first. Yes. It's probably a lesson some of us vets could, could learn from, you know. <laughs> he's, he's, he's doing great. He's doing great. Yeah, they all seem happy. My teeth look quite good. You know, I love the way he's got his hands on Jill the whole time, reassuring her, making her feel at ease. <laughs> Not too bad. No, it seems OK. I don't really smell dog's ears often. Wow, this lot are working like fully trained vets now. I think she's all right to go. Thank you. Now, to pay Robin and Jamie really impressed Adam. But you know what? I'm proud of the lot of them. Oh, Thank you. See so you right, later. Bye. On the outskirts of Edinburgh, Josh needs to check on a previous special patient who is now in recovery at home. So Patrick is just out here. Okay. Oh look, he's thick and nice. He's come out to see you. Hey, Patrick. Patrick was definitely my favourite patient of the whole entire journey of vets. When Patches needed urgent surgery to remove an infected lump from his ear canal. Oh, he knows where he's going, doesn't he? Go things didn't go completely to plan. Have another swab, please. And we've got some hemorrhage. Another one, please. Keep going with them. Keep feeding them to me till I say stop. Patches lost quite a lot of blood, and one minute we thought he wouldn't survive it. Keep going. But Josh kept his cool under pressure and made sure vet Kevin had everything he needed to keep Patches alive. Okay. Patch is really connected to my heart and he just wanted me to help him and um, help him get through all that pain so it all goes away. One week on, Josh needs to make sure Patches is now out of danger and in full recovery. I'm just going to have a look at where we operated them. Wow, it's a lot better. The operation went well. Has he been eating well? Yeah, he's getting back to normal again. Now I've seen him here, he looks actually well active. You're really good with him. He's enjoying that. All the different types of animals that I've met, they're just amazing and I've just really enjoyed um, the experience that I've had and I'm definitely going to be a vet when I'm older. At the donkey sanctuary, Molly's checking Rebecca and her foal poppy are now clear of horrible worms. <laughs> oh, oh, it's poppy. It's grown so much. <laughs> I really enjoyed working with the donkeys because I learned a lot that day about worming and the donkeys were really cute and then they were running round us and everything. When Molly first worked here, Poppy was only six days old. Sadly, Molly discovered evidence of worms in her mum, Rebecca's poo. Yeah, I can actually see something. Rebecca has now been treated with medicine. Now Molly needs to give her an examination to check she is returning to full health. How have they responded to the worm treatment? Rebecca's responded very well to Wormer. She's improved in condition and generally she's, um, she's looking a lot better. She feels silkier. Yeah, nice smooth coat. Yeah. One of the great things about vet work is that we went and helped her and then we got to see the end result and it makes it all worth it. How's Poppy been? Poppy's doing very well. She's getting lots of milk from her mum. Yeah. She's running around and playing and she's got plenty of energy. So, all in all, Poppy's doing very well. To know that Rebecca doesn't have worms anymore, it makes me feel really proud to know that we've helped her and that she's better. There's some pictures of Rebecca and thank Poppy. Thank you. Just to thank you for all your help. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. To come back and see how much Rebecca and Poppy have grown and developed, and it's just really good. My junior vet's time at vet school is almost done and dusted. They haven't got a clue who I'm about to name head vet. 
or that we've sneaked in their families and some of their vet school mentors for their graduation ceremony. I've now got to make my final decision on who deserves the head vet title, and it's a toughie. Josh has loads of cute pets at home, though that was never going to fully prepare him for vet school. But nothing seemed to faze him. He dealt with newborns. Oh, hello, hello. I'm taking this one home. <laughs> even live births. No bother. It's such a cutie. But it was in surgery where Josh really blew us all away, keeping a cool head when the pressure was intense. I've just like, made loads of friends. I won't forget them. They're brilliant, and we've like, worked well as a team. And I just want to do it again, really. Molly arrived with not that much animal experience and faced some challenging early jobs. Oh, sorry. But woo, she didn't half get stuck in. Here we go. Whoever the patient. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> whatever the patient. Whoa. <laughs> wherever the patient. It's been one of the best experiences in my life, Pro probably the best. Jamie had a load of fears and phobias to overcome when he arrived at vet school. Yeah. He might have made a slow start, oh. but boy, did he soon get into his stride. He's fine. You quite happy? Yeah. He had a great bedside manner with his patients, always determined to help his animals, and that caught the eye of the experts time and time again. <laughs> to be named head vet would be amazing because I've loved every single second of this. Robin came here with her sights firmly set on becoming a vet when she's older. That sounds makes him strong. She soon started to shine. Confident. And another one. Hands on, always ready to learn. I see a future vet there, actually. And also a brilliant team player. You just can't ignore effort and talent like this. I've loved every single thing about it. There's not been a bad day while I've been here. Sensational vet work from start to finish. To be crowned head vet, I'd be like a bonus to this whole experience. And if I don't win, then I don't mind because I've still had one of the best experiences of my life. But it would be nice. <laughs> Did Natape handle intense vet work? He handled everything. All that heavy lifting, it was incredible. Confident, fearless vet work from day one. He developed a special bond with his patients and loved helping every one of them. Oh, wow, that is so beautiful. His efforts regularly impressed both me and the experts. Once in a lifetime experience, definitely like lions and cows and horses and dogs and pigs and there's loads of stuff. It's just been amazing. Bonte worked hard to make sure her patients got the very best of care. Such a good boy. And looked out for her work buddies too. Are you right, Molly? Yes, thanks. Bonte regularly showed she'd got top skills and never, ever shirked vet work, however big the job in hand. Oh, it'd be amazing if I was head vet, but I think everyone deserves it, and I don't know how um, Alex is managing to pet, because everyone's done so well, but it would be, it'd be such an honour. Here we go. Graduation day at vet school. My junior vets and their families are about to find out how they did and who has won the head vet title. Junior vets, your hard work and training is now over, and what a journey you've been on. Josh, Natape, Bonte, Robin, Molly and Jamie, I am delighted to tell you that you have all made it through vet school. My junior vets have all shown me they have individual skills, but they've also proven they are a tight unit and a top team. And I want them to show me they will continue to care for animals long after they've left vet school. I'd now like you to make the junior vet promise. <laughs> so I want you to raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To do whatever I can. To do whatever I can. 
to protect wild animals and pets. To protect wild animals and pets. And if injured or ill. And if injured or ill. I will do my best. I will do my best. To help them feel better. To help them feel better. Well done, everyone. But there can be only one winner. And I've got to tell you that it was incredibly close. And the person that we've chosen have shown that they've got a head and a stomach for extreme vet work. They've shown boundless enthusiasm and endless curiosity. They've been focused, attentive, quick to volunteer, and have shown that they can be a very supportive team player. Junior vets, you arrived at vet school as a team and you will leave vet school as a team. But this year's head vet is... Robin. Robin, if you would like to put on the special head vet smock. <laughs> yep, time and time again, the experts said Robin was a true vet in the making. Technically brilliant, always putting her patients first, as well as thinking about her fellow junior vets. I thought I was dreaming up there, you know. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm going to miss this lot. Oh, I'm really pleased that Robin got it because she totally deserved it. I think everyone deserved it, but Robin's in so well. I'm actually proud. Yeah. Everything has just been amazing. <laughs> she deserves it. No stuff, everyone else. All oh, the experience has been amazing. I'm so um, proud for Robin.